During my freshman year of college, I managed a video store. Who remembers the video store? <laughs> yeah, just like Redbox, but bigger, right? And, and there's people inside. I was one of those people. My first night closing as a manager, I worked with a girl named Megan. It was a Tuesday night, so we would be closing at 10 p.m. I was over in the aisle putting away some movies. Megan was near the back of the store collecting a stack of movies from the drive-up drop box. At exactly 9.59 and 47 seconds, we saw headlights in the parking lot. Without hesitation, Megan dropped her stack of movies, ran to the front of the store, jumped over the counter. Okay, she didn't really jump over the counter. It was more like a Dukes of Hazard hood slide, but you get the point. She reached over and locked the door before this man could come inside. The man reached up and pulled on the door, and it didn't budge. He looked at her in confusion. This was her reply. <laughs> Disappointed, the man turned around and walked away. And then Megan turned to me and said, that was close. That guy almost came in here. <laughs> Megan didn't have a long career with our company after that. <laughs> the owner of the video store would often complain to me about why people can't figure out good customer service. He would always say, it's not rocket science. After years of research, I've learned something. He's right. Customer service is not rocket science. It's harder. <laughs> Seriously, we get rocket science. We've put people on the moon. But when it comes to everything that we know about customer service, we still struggle. A recent study conducted by Forrester Research found that 80% of businesses believe they offer superior customer service. 8% of their customers agreed. 8%. Maybe part of the problem is that we're using the wrong kind of science. We know it's not rocket science. Behavioral science helps us understand why people do what they do. If we take what we know about customer service and merge those, we can create a customer science that will help us to influence the desired behaviors. We know from behavioral science that there are eight components that influence your behavior. Most often, they're working against you. But if you can realign and engage five of these components to work for you, you are four times more likely to succeed. If you can engage all eight components, you become 10 times more likely to change customer service behaviors. With the time I have left, I'd like to just give you one idea for engaging one of these components to work for you.